I want to first say thank you for having us here. It is great pleasure that I join you here today to introduce the next presenter, Elizabeth Villatoro. I had the absolute honor of working with her closely in my short time in the United Community. Elizabeth came to our organization as a neighborhood ambassador for the Sequoia community a little year ago. Those who do not know what neighborhood ambassadors are, they are community members who will go above and beyond to reach out and engage residents in their neighborhoods. They engage and support their communities by sharing resources, starting community support, and do initiatives based on the needs of the community. During COVID-19, these ambassadors helped over 400 people get vaccinated. Supporting food distributions in their communities and bringing community feedback to Opportunity Neighborhood Mount Vernon to share with partners and incorporate the program of their program development is what they do. Opportunity Neighborhood Mount Vernon is an organization framework for residents, community-based partners, Fairfax County Public Schools, Fairfax County, and other supporters and allies that work together to deliver the resources that are equitable, accessible, and effective to youth and their families in the Mount Vernon community. Partners within the neighborhood scope work together to identify community needs and develop two-generation solutions. Elizabeth is a very caring, hardworking, enthusiastic individual who truly wants the best for her family and her community. Before becoming an ambassador, Elizabeth was a volunteer at her children's school, Mount Vernon Woods Elementary. While volunteering at the school, she became an advocate for her children and her families in the community. Becoming more, more aware of the information and the resources available to the area, she shared what she knew in her community through in community engagement, also providing information like social media apps and like WhatsApp. She loves to use it. If you are in our WhatsApp group, you will get hundreds of messages every day. <laughs> Elizabeth has a trusted and established relationship with the, her community and the people that come to her and shares the needs of the concerns. She has also participated in various trainings, including the Literacy Council of Northern Virginia's Destination Workforce, which has tremendously enhanced her community, as well as enhanced her skills and confidence to pick up at community meetings. Elizabeth is an amazing leader, and I am very pleased to introduce her this morning. I just let you know this is my first time. <laughs> so, <laughs> and first of all, I want to say thank you for your hard work. This is not here. This is from here. I want to say thank you for this program. I want to say a special thank you for that lady, Christy Ferrufino. I love you, Christy. <laughs> And I am Elizabeth Villatoro from El Salvador. I came to USA 16 years ago. I am a person who lives in the shadow, as a woman, as an immigrant, as a mother. For 14 years, nobody saw me. I don't try to get atten any attention. Then I start taking English class in LCNB. Miss Linda Mancini, my teacher, I will never forget her. She made time to know each one. She made time to know each one of us because she knows we have love and passion to learn English, but we need more than that. We need the tools she knows we need better grammar. She have, she give us the space to learn it. This class helped me to empower myself. When I start, I was not really sure this, <laughs> this was going to work. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I got the same feeling too. I trying to, I'm a cry baby, so I wanna try. The people on my table, they already know I was crying all the time, so <laughs> let me keep going. 
Oh, okay. <sighs> she knows we need better grammar. She gives us the space to learn it. This class helped me to empower myself. When I started, I was really sure this was going to work because the class was from 6 to 8.30. My husband and two kids were in the house. But from the first day, Miss Linda grabbed our attention and made us participate in the class to, to make sure we were, going, we were doing our part. The class was always at family time, dinner time. So I made sure dinner was always ready a hit on time. Still sometime I was a little bit late joined soon. But my teachers always say, I know you are a mom, I know you are a wife, I know you have a full time job. <clears throat> It's good you are here. I really grateful for her empathy. Her empathy means a lot to me. Everything is a step by a step. I start as a school volunteer, then become a neighborhood ambassador. And now I have a full-time job as a life experience consult with United Community. That's my another house. <laughs> I am a person who loves to learn. When I start LCNB class, I learn how to be professional and understand more about the culture in this, cult in this country. Now I feel empowered. I really empowered because before I'm never gonna be here on this stage. <laughs> 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 This country gave me a lot, even when I was on the shadow. Today, I feel like I am a part of this country because I can give something back. I feel grateful, and at least I can do is give, at least what I can do is give something back. My goal, first of all, is to be an inspiration for my kids. During the COVID era, they saw me a student on Zoom with LCNB. Even though they speak better English than me, they, sat, they sat close to me at the dinner table and did their homework while I did my, my class. I was, it was a memorable moment. If I had to find something good about COVID time, I will, it will, it will be this. We don't have no more excuses. I have free time at home and, you, and I use it to learn better English. LCMB brought this side together to teach us virtual, and we have to do our part to keep learning. We were all learning a new ways together. It was important teamwork. My goal are to improve my communication skill and to have a more, and to have no more excuses to keep me from from helping my neighbors. My neighbors are not just speak, Spanish speakers, most speak English first. I really want to have the same conversation I have with English speakers as I do with Spanish neighbors because they are human, just like me, with their own struggles too, so I try to help them. When I first come, I just have cereal for food. And I remember how terrible that feel. So now I try to get four. So, so now I try to get food for the community. Every day now, 
we have a food distribution point on a different neighborhood through United Community. I just trying to do the best for my family, then for my neighbor. Because when I do something good for neighbors, something good can come back to me. So my message to you today is don't give up because every person matter, even one person matter. There is always another Elizabeth who is hiding in the shadow. But if you encourage her, if you motivate her, she's, gonna, she's going to shine. So please don't give up, give us support, time, and especially, especially, your empathy. If you are asking too much, your love. <laughs> so my message to you today is, I'm sorry. Yeah, you see, and <laughs> just to remind you, don't give up. <laughs> One last thing, you should know that before LCNB, my English was straight English. I don't know, I don't know every, anything about birth tense. You're not gonna learn that on the street, but now I know about the past, the present, and every day, I am learning more about the future. Thank you so much.